Thank you so much for spending some time with us here today. Case Cracked is the show where we look into a mystery and what are the critical pieces that help solve that mystery. Today's episode features two cases, one that sort of inspired the solve in the other. We're calling today's episode Finding Me. Child abductions in China have been a serious problem, exacerbated by strict birthing laws that have thankfully changed in recent years. It used to be that boys were sought after to carry on the family line and help with hard work, whereas girls were seen in a lesser light by couples wanting to have children. Some chose to buy their child, creating a black market and profitability for kidnappers. This left some families broken and unable to move on with their lives after the disappearance of their biological child. In 1995, Guo Jinzhen was born to Guo Gang Tang and his wife, Zhang Wench. The family lived simply but happily in their home province of Shandong for two years before tragedy struck. On September 21st, 1997, while Guo Jinzhen played at their home's door and his mother cooked inside, an unknown woman lured him away. When his family realized he had disappeared, they, along with neighbors and friends, combed the region looking for the boy. After several months, nothing had been found, and everyone started to go back to their normal lives, all except for Guo Gang Tang and his wife. She was racked with guilt over the loss of their son and felt that she should have prevented the abduction. Guo Gang Tang, however, couldn't rest unless he did something. So he attached large banners with his son's picture to the back of his motorcycle and set off to raise awareness of the abduction and to find his son. Through many provinces and thousands of miles, he drove with his banners that asked questions and gave details. Son, where are you? And dad is looking for you to come home were some of the statements on his signs, along with information about his son that even mentioned a scar that he had on his left little toe. For more than 20 years, he traveled through more than 20 provinces as he searched and chased sightings and tips. With no income, he used his life savings to continue his journey while he slept under bridges and begged when he had no money. He broke bones in traffic accidents, was robbed by highway robbers, and eventually went through 10 motorcycles. Through it all, good things would come from this journey, even though Guo Jinzhen was still not found. In 2012, he founded an organization and website that would help parents find their missing children. He is said to have helped dozens in reuniting their families, in 2014, he started a charity to help other parents in his situation. In 2015, a movie inspired by his journey was released called Lost and Love, which did very well at the box office. Sadly, the film ended with the father never finding his son. Guo Gang Tang said that he hoped to let his son know that he was speaking to him through the movie, trying to let him know that he was still searching for him. In 2021, he took to China's Dao Yin, known as the Chinese version of TikTok, to spread awareness about child abductions and his search for his son. He told state television, if I'm at home, the human trafficker is not going to deliver him back to me. Blood samples were taken from Guo Gang Tang and his wife and were added to the national DNA database that helps to reunite families, but nothing was found. In June of 2021, police used aged progressed photos of Guo Jinzhen to search databases for people who looked like the photos, and they got a match to a man living in Henan province. DNA soon confirmed that this was indeed their son, and the story that unfolded was frightening. It was found that two suspects were involved in the crime. In the late 90s, a man who was identified as Hu and his girlfriend, known as Tang, wanted to marry. Unfortunately, they had no money and chose to steal a boy from his family and sell him for the money that they needed. After the abduction, they took an inner-city coach to Henan province and sold him. 
Gua continued to live there for the next 24 years. Although news outlets are not saying how the two were caught, they both confessed to the crime when they were confronted. To mark the family's discovery of their missing son, Gua Gang Tang and his wife bought more than 1,000 pounds of candy that they gave to their neighbors in celebration. Finally, in July of 2021, the family was reunited in Shandong. My baby, you come back, shouted his mother, Zhang Wenj, when she saw her son. When the three met, there were tears and hugs all around. Gua Gang Tang stated that he holds no ill will toward the family that bought his son. He also said that how Gua Jin Zhen chose to treat his adoptive parents from this point forward was up to him. In the end, he chose to continue living with his adoptive parents, who he said treated him very well. He also said that he's proud of his biological father and will visit him regularly. Thankful that their ending was happier in real life than the movie version, now the couple say that they're content to see what the future holds for them. Our child has been found, Gua Gang Tang said. From now on, only happiness is left. Our second case has a familiar start, but a very different path to its conclusion. Li Jinwei was four years old when he was taken from his family in 1989, and he remembers it. A neighbor lured him away from his home with the promise of going to look at cars, which were rare near his rural home in Yunnan province. The neighbor then took him behind a hill to a road where several kidnappers awaited. Through his tears and cries for help, Li Jinwei was loaded onto the back of a bicycle and taken to a train station. He was taken a thousand miles away, where he was sold to a family in Henan province. Because of his age, he couldn't remember many vital details, such as who his parents were, where he was from, or how old he actually was. However, he could remember his home and the surrounding area with crystal clarity. Shortly after he was abducted, he began to draw out those details. He could remember where the school was, along with the bamboo forest, mountains, and a small pond near his lost home. Before he attended school, he would draw his map on the ground, and afterward, in notebooks, it became an obsession. As the years passed by, he thought less and less of the abduction as work, marriage, and family life took over. After seeing Gua Gang Tang's family reunite with their son in 2021, Li Jinwei began to think about finding his own parents. Quote, I realized I could not wait any longer because my parents should be getting older now. I worried that when I figure out where I am from, they might have passed away, he said. First, he went to his adoptive parents for information, but they refused to tell him anything. Then, he tried entering his own DNA into databases. He found no answers there and decided to try the internet. It was suggested that he make a video for Douyin, including one of his maps, in the hope that viewers might be able to help him narrow down his possibilities. On December 24th, 2021, with a hand-drawn map that took him only 10 minutes to make, Li Jinwei created his video saying, I'm a child who's finding his home. I was taken to Henan by a bald neighbor around 1989 when I was about four years old. This is a map of my home area that I have drawn from my memory. The video was viewed thousands of times before police were able to narrow down possible locations. Finally, in a small village in Yunnan, a woman was found who said that her son had disappeared around 1989. At first, the two talked by phone and got to know each other, but when she mentioned a scar that her son had on his chin from falling off a ladder, Li Jinwei knew in his heart that he had found his mother. This would also be confirmed by DNA tests. Sadly, he would not have the chance to see his father again, as his father had passed away. On January 1st, 2022, he was reunited with his mother, who has not been named, along with a sister and brother he had never met in Henan province. Li Jinwei was so moved, he fell to his knees, and his siblings had to help him up. With trepidation, he removed his mother's coronavirus mask to examine her face. 
He said the two of them even had the same teeth. Now, the entire family is planning an outing on Lunar New Year to his father's grave so Lee Jin Wei can pay his respects to his father and tell him that his son is finally home.